This is little Ruby. She's an eight month old little spoodle and she's a gorgeous little girl. However, when she went for a walk, she was causing her owners a whole host of problems. Here's one little trick which helped to turn her around. As you can see, as soon as the lead came out, even in the back garden, little Ruby would go pretty crazy, pulling and yanking and mouthing and chewing the lead. She was a small dog, but she could pull pretty strong and she was tenacious. She didn't give up. Even on long walks, she'd keep pulling all the way down the road and across the street. She'd be dragging you here, dragging you there. She'd even drag you back home. There she goes. She just doesn't stop. Pull, pull, pull. Chew, chew, chew. It was a nightmare. Let me show you a simple way of correcting this behavior. As always, the key to everything was gaining Ruby's trust and respect. And I did that through implementing and putting in place those five golden rules. Here's a little trick though that helped me establish a little bit more respect on the walk. One very simple way of getting her to change her behavior is to put a little chain through her collar and so that the first foot and a half of her leash is now a chain. But she still has her soft little fabric collar on. Now Ruby's still free to jump up and chew the chain if she wants to. It's her choice. There's going to be no shouting or pulling on the lead. We're going to let her change her own behavior of her own free will. As you can see here, she thinks about it. She has a look and she says, I think I'll try and jump up and get the lead. She has one good jump. There you go. Tries to get it. She can't reach it. And she says, fine. It's as quick as that. Now she's a changed dog. She's not going to bother chewing the chain anymore. She's just going to walk nice and sensibly. Perfect. As you can see, very soon she was walking perfectly by my side. Happy to walk behind me, very loose lead, and she's not chewing it. And here we are on the way back home. Still a very loose leash. And remember, this is outside. We're not in the garden anymore. Far more distractions, but she's perfect. And once she's changed her behavior, we can revert back to the old lead. No chain required. It was a temporary training tool. By putting in place the five golden rules of the pack leader, I gained Amber's immediate respect. She knew she could trust me and should follow me. And so walking nicely on the lead by my side made perfect sense to her. If you'd like more information, then take a look at my video website, theonlinedogtrainer.com. There's over a hundred videos on the site and it'll take you through step by step how to become that pack leader and uh, other stuff such as how to train your puppy, how to stop any unwanted dog behavior, basically a whole host of information about all sorts of stuff to do with dog training. Again, that video website is www.theonlinedogtrainer.com. Have a great day and take care.